On this week's episode of SHS Today, we look for a job at the hashtag Get Hired Job Fair, hit the road with Zach Plisco in The Drive, and take a look at Haiti Team 12. All this and more on SHS Today. How's it going, Celine? And welcome back to another episode of SHS Today. I'm Joe Kennedy. And I'm Ryan Sutherland. Let's jump right into today's news. Prom is just a few days away, with it being held this Saturday, May 5th, from 8 p.m. to midnight at the Big House. Tickets are available online for $50. If you have yet to purchase your tickets online, they will still be available at the door. Last Thursday, Celine High School hosted a job fair titled Hashtag Get Hired. Nick Long takes a closer look at what took place. It always feels good to have a little cash in your pocket, and it feels even better knowing that you earned it. I'm Nick Long with SHS Today, and I attended the hashtag Get Hired event held on April 19th, where over 30 industry and college reps came to the high school to allow students the opportunity to knock on the industry's front door. It gives the students an opportunity to get summer jobs. Um, many of these students will go through an interview possibly today or in the future to get employment. If you're interested in the world of culinary arts, Main Street Ventures wants you. They are a group of restaurants in Ann Arbor that includes the Chop House and Real Seafood Company along with many others. A restaurant can offer a position to a lot of people that are in school, you know, taking classes, have kids, whatever the case may be. Everyone's got varying schedules and we really try and work around everyone's schedule at the restaurant so that everybody can be happy and make a lot of money. Students need money for gas, maybe a car for upcoming drivers, or for college to advance their education. Well, I already have a summer job working with my dad, but um, probably something to do over the winter and through the time when there's not grass to cut. Yeah, I'm looking for like an engineering type job. Uh, I like, I install carpet over at Ann Arbor Carpets right now on State Street. Uh, yeah, I just, I'm an engineering hands-on type person. The opportunities for eager students is very high, just like their soon-to-be wages. This has been Nick Long, back to you in the studio. Thanks for the inside look, Nick. If you weren't able to attend the job fair, there are still many other opportunities to get a job in the area over the summer. In other news, Haiti Team 12 recently set out on the long journey towards Haiti on a missionary trip to help those in need. The trip began on April 7th and spanned the better part of a week as 15 students took part in the installation of 30 water filters to provide people with clean, drinkable water. I was lucky enough to be part of the team and can personally say that it was an experience like no other. It was the trip of a lifetime. We here in Video News Production would like to say a special thank you to all those who took part in helping those in need. <laughs> National Honor Society is hosting another blood drive on Friday, May 11th, and it will be held in the Media Center. Feel free to drop by and donate blood for a great cause. Now, we re reintroduce an old favorite as Zach Plisco gets back behind the wheel and talks about the college life in this brand new installment of The Drive. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the drive we haven't done one in a year but we're bringing it back i'm here with tyler stackler and we're going to be talking about the college life a year in yeah okay tyler okay so you've been in college for a year now and what's the difference from high school to college um class scheduling is probably the biggest thing um depending on how many credit hours you take you can actually have a pretty you know, easy load and have good days you can sleep in, not have to worry about getting up super early. Like I, I averagely take about 15 credit hours both my semesters, so I've been able to actually have days where I can sleep in until like 11 or 12 before I have to get up and go to class, so. So right now, um, I'm going into business administration and general business is kind of what I, you know, you have to pick something, so that's what I decided to pick and business overall is a pretty good thing to know and be into, so. If I can't, you know, find something I'm really into um, after I'm done with my general education, then I think business would be a pretty, a pretty good thing. I mean, with high school, <laughs> with high school you have classes Monday through Friday, um, 
from a certain time this to this, and then you're free after that. BG people have you know sports or they want to hang out and whatnot. Um, with college, you're not at school the whole day or for very long. Actually, you can plan it so you can have two classes a day, Monday through Thursday. You don't need to. I don't go to school on Fridays. Both my semesters, I've been able to dodge Fridays and have a three-day weekend basically. Um, that opens up more opportunities for work and setting up my schedules and stuff like that. All right. Basically, summing up for my pal over here, you have more free time, be sure to grab a job, study up, and spend your time wisely. Easy as that. Not really, because, you know, college is a lot more than that, but, you know, anyway. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that is the drive for ya. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Zachary Pusco. I'm Tyler Stackler. See you on the next adventure. Thanks, Zach, for a unique interview on the college life. If you're interested in being featured on a future installment of The Drive, talk to Zach Plisko if you see him in the halls. Well, that's all the time we have this week. I hope you enjoyed the show. Signing off, I'm Ryan Sutherland. And I'm Joe Kennedy. Tune in next week for a feature story on food allergies, get informed about the upcoming student center, and go to David Collard where he introduces you to an interesting employee in the kitchen. Have a great week, Hornets.